Try it again. See if anyone comes on. Try it again and see. We'll see how it see how it goes. Because I really felt to use these cards right here. We'll see if more come on. Hello. Hello. I figured I'd try it one more time. I really feel like I need to use these cards. Um, and hopefully, hopefully things go good and yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We'll give it a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and get these laid out. We're going to do three stacks. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, who likes these cards? Remember these? I don't use them very often, but I feel like I'm, I'm going to use them. I'm going to put them right in there with um, these here. So we're going to see what we get. We're going to do the threes, the stacks of three. Okay. Okay. Kind of waiting to see if any more comes back on here. I know we had the trolls working us earlier. And when I have it pulled down, I can't really do anything. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It shows that we only have two watching. I'm going to go ahead and lay them out. We'll have them laid out and ready. Okay. One. Okay, I feel like doing this in a little bit different. Hello. There's actually going to be three of each of these. Okay. Okay, we got three of those. And I know that if you've watched me very much in the past, these are, yeah. So if you haven't watched a lot of my past videos, you may want to go back and look at those. And, um, yeah. So we got those. Now the house of, this is the wisdom of the house of night. So we're going to go there. We're going to use those. And that's what they look like. If you've watched very many of my readings. You've probably seen me use them. I'm actually going to take three of those. I know it's a lot of reading for me, but I feel like I'm going to um, possibly get a message too out of that. So I'm going to lower them 
right here in a minute. I'm, I want to put a stone on there so you have something to kind of give you something to um, really picture whenever you close your eyes. So now I'm going to lower them. And what I want you to do is just look at them and picture, you know, when you close your eyes, which one draws you to it? Okay, so here they are. We've got stack one. We've got this beautiful crystal. Stack two with this beautiful palm stone. Stack three with this beautiful rose quartz here. Now, just kind of look at them. You know, what do you feel? Which one's drawing you to it? Is it one? Is it all? You know, it could be all three of them. Doesn't have to be one. <clears throat> but really look at them. We're going to start with one. So I'm going to move these aside. These are bigger cards. Okay. Okay. We're going to start with our crystal oracle cards. And what you've got is sapphire, amber, and ruby. That's what you've got. Sapphire, amber, and ruby. So I'm going to read to you out of the book for each of these cards. So for sapphire, we'll start with sapphire. And what it says, and you don't need to have these crystals. If you will have faith and believe, the energy will be with you. Okay, we start with Sapphire. And what the message with Sapphire is, all of your deepest hopes and dreams can come true. Have faith and believe. And then we'll move to Amber. Okay, the message for Amber there's Amber. You are a child of light, dispelling the darkness in the world around you. So let your light shine for all to see because you're helping people more than you know. Okay, and then we have here Ruby. And Ruby, the message is ascend to the throne of the heaven, heavens. And claim your eternal inheritance. That's beautiful. So now we move on to the wisdom of the house of night cards. And um, I just took two. I just took two. Okay. Two must have been what was meant. I had thought to take three, but I didn't. Okay, we have Deceit mm, and Grove. So, Deceit and Grove. I'm going to read to you about these. If I feel anything, I'll tell you. So far, I'm not. Um, deceit is a number 38. You have to be patient with me. This is quite a bit of reading with these, comes with these cards, but I, I just felt like I was supposed to do it. Okay. We're going to do deceit first. When you choose the symbol of deceit, be very careful about your motives in making your choices. Be very careful about your motives in making your choices. Okay. There is a warning, okay, you're being warned that someone may be stabbing you in the back regardless of the circumstance. Okay, this has got to do with, um, okay, when you started watching this, did you have a feeling about, I'm going to tell you why I'm, I'm feeling this way, that someone was doing something towards you? Because if you did, this may be for you. Um, because where it starts is in the house of night. Now, these, these cards usually start that way, or most of them. There is one who has betrayed herself. 
and all those who looked up to her. Now, here's what it says. I am also warning you that someone may be stabbing you in the back regardless of the circumstances of your question. I warn you about deceit. So someone may have deceitful motives, you know, um, towards you. But it also tells, you know, you to be very careful about your motives in making choices. Now, okay, there will be a price to pay for betrayal in all forms. Only you know how much it will cost. That said, although the energy of betrayal can be seductive, I am stronger. You are forewarned. So whatever this is about, you're being told, you know, to really look, <laughs> take a look at how you're looking at it. Take a look at how your motives are. Don't be deceitful in anything. Um, you know, and also be aware that someone else may be being deceitful towards you. Now with Grove, because that's, that's like really letting you know there, because you know, karma, karma don't lose no address. So Yeah. Um, and I don't, I don't want any karma, bad karma or anything like that. So now let's go to Grove. Okay. Ready? Okay. Okay. Let's see. This is, this is about being invited. Like, okay. It's like you being invited to this Grove here to heal your wounds and mend your heart. And you see that could play right along with this card right here. You know, maybe someone hurt you and you feel deceit. Uh, you feel betrayal. And, it, it, and you know, um, is it best to hold on to that and wait for karma? Or is it best to just let go of that and think of your own health and your own peace and just, you know, let it go? Now is the time to apologize to anyone you have harmed. Make your friendships whole again. And choose healing over anger and pain. Choosing my beautiful grove is a powerful sign that you are at a wondrous and strong time in your life. Show compassion and kindness to others. No one is perfect, yet imperfection is perfect as it is. If you are hurting know that it will pass and that I, you're being watched over, basically. If someone you love is hurting, take this time to be there for this person. The sacred grove heals all aches, pains, especially a heart that has been wounded. So it's time for healing. Don't allow deceitfulness and don't allow things to make you bitter. Okay. Let me look up and see how everything's going here. Hopefully everything's going all right. Okay. 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 Let's do number two. We've got number one. Let's move on to number two here. Beautiful palm stone. Okay. Our crystal oracle cards. Oh, We've got obsidian, green tourmaline, and watermelon tourmaline. So you got two tourmalines there. Okay. Let's let me get in the book here. Okay. Where is my book? Okay. Right here it is. Okay. Now, we'll start with obsidian. The message of obsidian is, okay. The message of obsidian is to look within and to look to the earth for your answers and insights. So I feel like you may need to get out into nature and really just, you know, be at one with, with Mother Earth and, you know, really, really get grounded and you'll get mess, you'll get messages and answers that you need. Next is green tourmaline. 
Okay, let me find it on here. Green tourmaline, where are you? Okay, your true prosperity and success is measured by your spiritual wealth and treasures. That's beautiful. Watermelon tourmaline. Let me find it now. Okay, where are you? Oh, I guess, yeah. Back there. Okay, return to paradise and the place of perfect balance within you. So, it's time to, to balance yourself. And it's time to, uh, oh, that's beautiful. It's just got such a good feel to it right here. I really like that feel. Okay, we get our two cards. Got that there. Let's put that there. Let's see what we got. Okay, we've got Oath, which is a 49. We've got seven High Priestess of Spirit. I'm going to show you those, and then I'm going to read to you what the book says. Okay, we're going to start with Oath first. I've got to get me a drink of tea. Number 49, which is Oath. Okay, next to last card. Okay. It says, my loving child, you have chosen the symbol uh, for oath. This is the symbol for all promises and is a reminder to keep the ones you have made. An oath is never made lightly nor in jest. Promises are meant to be honored. When you choose this symbol, perhaps it's time you look at how you have made your promises. Have you crossed your fingers behind your back, relinquishing the magic that binds you to your oath? Has anyone broken his or her promise to you? Let the person go. Don't hold on. If someone refuses to be honorable, you don't want this person in your life. For now, the most important promise you can make to yourself, promise to be kind, loving, honorable, and good. Do no harm to belong to me. You must keep that promise you know and that feels like this that you know it's a message from a higher power and um it feels like a very important one now number seven you know that that feels like heaven's number for me one of heaven's numbers um higher powers number okay number seven high priestess of spirit okay Let's see. Okay, you've chosen this symbol to help guide you on this journey to find an answer to your question. Consider that there is an invisible spirit within all living things. Know that all things, events, and experiences are woven together like a magical web and can be can be seen only in the darkest night and not by human eyes. Everything that you need to know is part of the divine scheme of things, a meaningful coincidence, a blessed friendship, a lover, and a significant experience are all orchestrated to help you become the powerful being you were meant to become. No matter what is in front of you, something important, important is brewing. You will know the answer to what soon enough. But I keep secret the why. You may step forward knowing that some things are meant to remain a mystery. So, 
Sometimes it's we don't need to know everything. It's just not meant. Okay, now that was number two. Number three. Our last one. Okay. We've got Agate, Jasper, and Crystal. Why don't you look at those? Okay. I'm going to start with Agate. Let me find it in my little book. It says, step back, take a breath, and relax. So sometimes that's what you need to do is just step back, take a breath, and relax, and just get grounded and just, just know that things will be better if they're not better flow and just let go some things you just can't control so just step back take a breath and relax okay and then we have jasper let me find jasper okay jasper keep in touch with the beauty of the earth and cherish the role you play. So that's very important. Cherish the role you play in the to do with the earth. Crystal. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Clear crystal quartz. Look to the source of all light to illuminate your consciousness. Hmm. Beautiful messages. Okay. Now. We have got chaos and risk. Number nine for chaos. 31 for risk. Whew. Okay. Let's start with chaos. Number nine. Let me find it. Okay. A storm is brewing and misunderstandings are all too common as chaos swirls around your life right now. My child, you have nothing to fear. You're being reminded that a higher power is here with you. The angels are with you. You know, um, and, you, you know, you're being reminded that after a storm, the air is cleared and, life, you know, life will begin again, even better than before. The silly thing is, if you refuse to take shelter, you will get soaked. And you have, you may have to repair a lot of damage. If you created the chaos, you will have to clean it up. But if others are the cause, you must step out of the out of it and wait out the storm. You will be glad you did. A good thing to say to yourself is no drama. So no drama. That's a good thing to say to yourself. Remember that. No drama drama. I can't stand drama myself. You like drama. Mm -mm. And then we have risk, which is a number 39. No, 31. Hmm. Maybe someone is turning 39 years old or 39 is a number for someone. And it says, you have come to a place where you are being asked to take a risk and try something new and different rather than worry about how things will turn out. Why not take the leap of faith? No matter what happens, something important will be experienced. This is a sign that you can prove something to yourself. And when you accomplish it, you will be proud that you did. Another meaning here is to ask 
yourself about your next action. Is it worth the risk you are taking? If the answer is no, don't do it. If yes, I will give you wings to fly and will catch you if you fail. This symbol also brings a gentle warning. Your risk shouldn't be motivated by boredom. This is a symbol of coincidence. Coin, coincidence. Let's see. Oh, consciousness. Yeah, consciousnesses. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't say that word again. Um, as well as courage. So, that's an important message there. You chose that. That's, that's, that's a very heavy message. So, we still got 11 on here? Hello. Hello. Hopefully, all of the mess has calmed down. I'm hoping anyhow. I haven't been able to see. So, let me put these cards back. Um, let's see. Okay, let me put all of these back. Okay, let's see. I will actually, um, We'll pull a few angel messages. These are not, now these are not, um, these are actually tarot. But um, they'll give us, you know, they can give some insight. Awesome. Thank y'all so much. Okay, let's get some insight. What is insight that needs to be seen tonight? We're my viewers, future viewers as well, spirit. Oh my goodness, we about had a message there. Okay. Okay, we had the Empress fall out. Has someone been making some plans or... Oh my goodness. Something in sight or something they've been wanting to do. Um, it's time to act. Time to move forward with something. That's Archangel Gabriel. Um, it is definitely time to move forward with something. If you have some sort of plans, because we've got the Empress fallout, your Archangel Gabriel, time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious and abundant resources. Now, I want to show you, but I want to show you what come out next. So, you see, if you have been making plans for something, it's time to move on it. We've got number seven. The chariot, Archangel Metatron, determination and self control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. Something very important. This could have to do with a career, it could have to do with um, something creative, something oh, moving forward that's very creative. Um, it could have to do with you making your own business. That's like me. You know, I've got this Etsy shop, but it is on vacation because I can't they I can't get anyone on there. So all of my soap is here. You know, I've got I'm gonna have to make a new website or something. Um, I can't get anyone at Etsy to help me to change my bank account. There's actually money in there where I actually sold stuff and I can't get the money. So I'm not fooling with Etsy. But it may be that someone is very creative and it's time for them to step out and uh, do something with that creativity. See, that could very well, yeah, be what this is. Okay, now, actually, I got another deck. Another one. Let's do another one. Okay. Give us our message. It needs to be here, heard today. Let's see here. What we got? 
Okay. Okay, we've got five of firm. Competing goals. Bothersome details. Conflict with others. Okay, we got four of earth. You know, five of wands. Uh, four of pentacles. Being too frivolous or too cautious with money. Good business decisions giving to those less fortunate. So that's a message in itself for someone, those two cards right there. Um, that's something to look at, it feels like. Now, we have the number two, which is the high priestess. Now, Archangel Haniel, listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. So there's a need to really think about it. Really, it feels like, yeah, follow your intuition, but there's going to be a need for something about patience. And it, it may just be getting something really going or something where you want it to be. It may take a little bit longer than, you know, you may have thought. Just consider things and... Um, Okay, if you're signing stuff, um, do read everything carefully because I'm seeing, I'm actually seeing papers and it looks like what looks like fine print. And then I'm seeing like a line with an X, like where we you would sign. So do watch fine print. Do pay attention to that. Um, that could um, have something in there that you don't want to sign on the dotted line for. Um Let's see. Okay. Message. What's the message? Okay. We have the devil. Okay, this is crossing. Okay, crossing paths. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's something toxic that is crossing someone's path. Uh, this could be something that ended because I have got the death card. Something, I feel like this is something coming back around. Um, this feels like a toxic relationship in the past or such. And there was hurt, there was pain, there was heartache. And it's like they're coming back around. And the thing is, is you see that, you see it coming. It's like, you, it's almost like you, you kind of feel this person. You both still feel each other. It could be a soulmate um, that taught you a lesson or you taught them a lesson or both taught each other a lesson. Definitely something that ended, um, but it's crossing. It felt crossing. That's the way I got that. Um, definitely pain came with this. Okay. Let's see. Any more? Any more? Okay. Yeah, it's as if you you kind of got your. It's like you feel it. You're coming in as the King of Swords, and it's it's almost like you feel this hurt. You feel this coming. Um, you you've it's like a tie to someone, and it's almost like it really gets you thinking, you know. And it's got them thinking. It's like you you not let go. It's like you've not let go of each other. Tell me more about this person. Okay, this is someone that it's, it's almost like you felt like you were supposed to have this new beautiful beginning with, you know. And it ended up being um, more of a feeling abandoned, left alone. You know, this is like, oh my goodness, this is like a really sad card here because, you know, we've got, we've got help here. We've got like 
a cathedral or a church or such where, you know, there's help inside, there's peace inside, but it's almost like it's not known or um, there's a feeling of afraid to enter or, you know, it's, it's just a sadness. So it's like we went from having, you know, having this beautiful beginning to feeling very alone. So this is someone that um, at some point in time, it felt like things was going to be forever, the one. And then it ended up being very alone. Um, some For some of you, you may have had a child or more than one. Um, and it's just a sadness. There's a sadness. Okay. Tell me about this person, the person coming. Okay. Temperance is here. This is something that um, has to come back around. And see, we've got we've got the world card trying to come out because this is like something that is is destined. You know, it's 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 like it's just got to happen. You know, and I, I feel like that. See, three of cups, the past coming back around. Um, this person could have put you in a third party situation, or there could have been some form of third party um, going on. Um, or you could be, you know, they could be with someone now and, you know, there's such, this is, there's such a connection, but we've got temperance. Temperance has fell out. This is something that is, is, it's got to just play its course. It's got to just go along. And I feel like that, you know, this person, they may, um, even though there's this big old connection here and such, they may seem rather snooty or this kind of, you know, like their head, you know, look at, look at her face up in the air. It's, it's almost like, oh my goodness, you know, you can feel them. We got 10, 10 up there. Um, but it's like, they're just like, hmm, you know, and, you know, even if you were to apologize for your part, and I feel like, you know, if you did anything wrong, that's good for you. But if you, you know, they're just, yeah, it's, this is a time thing. And this is something that, you know, it has to kind of go its own route. Uh, so, see, something ending, something beginning. Now, for some of you, this person could be wanting to actually get back together. Um, for those that this is wanting to come back together back together yeah um they may communicate with you um you know that could be fast moving communication or, or there could be back and forth communication the problem is we have the moon now 10 10 again um and that moon card you know there can be illusion now we do have the Ace of Wands. Now, for me, what I'm feeling with that is this is this is quick. Um, someone going to move quick on something. They're going to speak quick or say something quick. Um, but I feel like you need to have patience. If there is still love with this person, you need to have patience. You need to be patient. Don't jump the gun and don't. You know, you need the truth. The truth is it, it's and, and if there was something that needed to be known you know you could be going to get that truth that you desire with the ace of swords being on the bottom um if not you know you need to stand in your truth because it, you want all of those cups to be full you don't want a few of them to be full see how some of them are up and some of them are down that you know that's the ten of cups but in this deck it says those certain ones have poured the, the liquid out. The emotion has poured out. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, so I feel like you need to be patient. You need to be patient with this. If this is something that you want to, you know, possibly work through or come back together. Because it does feel like for some it can do that. Um, but there's a need for patience. That's, that's, you know, I keep getting patience. Um, that's very big. So I don't know who this is for. It could be, you know, for future people or it could be for now. Um, but, you know, I'm going to be honest. It doesn't have, it feels like the past 
had a lot of pain and hurt. But it also, you know, honest, it feels like the past also had a lot of um, not grown up. So this has got a feeling like, um, you know, so, some people as you get older, you learn. You get, you know, you learn from your own mistakes and such. So this, this has got that kind of got that feel. Um, it just does. So that is what we got from that deck, and um, that is a steampunk, the steampunk deck. Awesome deck. Oh, and I, you know, I have um, moved my address. I, I'm not putting it in the description anymore. Um, it is in the about tab because I know um, some people like to send me cards and such and I, I really enjoy that. Um, it's like a sweet little surprise. Um, but it is in my about tab on my channel if anyone needs that. Um, let's see. Okay. This one can be a little harsh at times, but sometimes it's needed. Is there a message with this deck? Oh, they about throwed one out. What was it? <laughs> oh, the emperor. Hmm. Is there a message? Uh, we got the star card out first thing. Knight of Cups. Oof. It's a healing energy here. Okay. Um. Don't settle for less than you're worth. Don't settle for less. Don't do it. Hey, Rev. How are you? Um, haven't seen, seen you in a while. Okay. We got the star card. Hello. And we've got the Knight of Chalices. That's the Knight of Cups. You know, Knight of Cups. But we've got the Five of Pentacles. Now, this Five of Pentacles is kind of about... Do we, are you selective about the fruit you pick? So, are you settling? Are you just settling? You know, that's a question I feel like you need to ask yourself. Are you just settling? You know, very healing energy here for you. Full of balance. Full of, um, it feels like um, beauty and growth. But the thing is, I feel like that um, you've got lots of, it, yeah, see, I'm seeing the Seven of Cups. You've got lots of people looking, watching, um, interest with this Knight of Cups. The thing is, with this Five of Pentacles showing up, you see, don't settle for less than your worth. Know your worth and your value. I'm seeing the Empress card. Um, because I feel like that in the past, it's almost like um, you pick the wrong fruit. You pick the wrong person. Um, the ones that don't give back what you give. It's that type of feeling. It's like you want to work on having a good relationship and it just, they weren't helping do the work. Carry the bricks, you know, carry the load. You need to follow your intuition, and you really need to know your worth and value if you don't. And you definitely need to not settle for less than your worth. Follow your intuition on it, though. But that, that's for someone. Oh, it feels like it's for many, because, you know, settling, I mean... Especially, you know, when you, oh my goodness, a lot of people find themselves single, you know, up in age and then they're like, oh my goodness, you know, I don't want to be single. But really rushing into a relationship with um, just whoever, I mean, is that really, you know, I mean, that's the way I look at it. But Okay. For some reason, I'm being drawn to this one, so I don't know who needs to look at something within themselves, but we're going to... Yep, they just throwed it. Now I've got to find it. All right, there it is. 
Okay. This is number seven and it's sacrifice. And, the, you know, this these cards here are for me a look within yourself. What, what you need to look at within yourself. So this could go along with that um, not settling. Because when you settle, you sacrifice what you really, you know what I'm saying? Is, is that not sacrificing? But this is for someone. Look at the card. What does that mean to you? What do you feel? Do you feel like this card's for you? Because if you do, there's something you need to look at within yourself that has to do with sacrifice. There's another. May I have the other? Okay. Okay, they give us a few. Okay. Now, we got a number 24, Queen of My World. Once you look at that, remember this is something to do with inside yourself. It could be for you. It may not be for you. Oh, and please do subscribe if you haven't. Queen of my world. This is like a look inside. And then we have number 13, blinded to pain. Blinded to pain. Hello. You know, this for me is like turning a blind eye to pain. Turning a blind eye to what hurts you. You know, and it could be about settling, you know. Feeling like you just have to stay in something. Hello. Number 14. Hiding your true self. 12, 12 on the board. Hiding your true self. Is that for you? Just a look inside. So those are not going to be for everyone, but they're for some. You just take away from it what you feel. Okay. The House of the 78 Doors. We're just going to see what we get. Oh, that is fine. Yeah, I actually came on one other. I've done done one, um, and I had to close it out because we had a lot of trolls on there. And I come back, so you may want to go back and check that other one out too. Um, but yeah, okay. Whoop. First cards out. Three of Pentacles. Relationship. Okay. Do you see he's working? Okay, just a minute. Let's get some clarification because I feel like this is going in different directions. Okay, okay. Work related. Work. Okay. Okay, if you are... Um, okay, this has got something to do with for somebody about work. Something to do about work. Now here's the thing. Okay. I've got the, the Ace of Cups. But it's reversed. No emotion. Cold. Distant. Guarding. And it's affecting someone at work. Now there's a choice that needs to be made. There is a decision that you need to make. And I feel like it has to do with this beautiful new beginning. Now, here's the thing. If you're the one that's protecting yourself to the point of you're just kind of cold and, you know. See, this is where you're heading, Nine of Pentacles. But you've got to make that choice and you've got to make that decision, you know, with that Two of um, Swords there. 
That's being at a crossroads. That's, you know, not really knowing what to do. And this could have to do, because I'm asking about job. Uh, it could have to do with, you know, relocating or uh, changing a job or changing the way you look at a job or the way you actually go within your job. Yeah. So that's something to look at. Now, if this has got to do with, where's my other cards? Family, friend, family, friend related, relationship. Okay. Okay. If this has got to do with a family situation or a situation with your friend, a friend, there's a healing that needs to happen. Someone got hurt. The guards up. The heart is, you know, something happened. Star cards here because it's time to heal it. It's time to heal it so that the relationship can, you know, can evolve and go to the next level. Be, be, you know, in a good place. Um, so I feel like that somebody has to be the bigger person and be willing to heal whatever happened within this family situation or this um, friend relationship. Now, if this is um, romantic love related, this relationship card, romantically love related, show us. Law mercy. Okay. With hard work, and with not giving up, because, you know, you do have trials, things that happen. You know, being a realist, that came out. But we also had the tower card fall out. So, with not giving up through trials and tribulations, you know, putting in the work, the effort. You can have Ace of Wings, which is Triumph, Ten of Shells success so that's beautiful but this calls for you know being able to weather the storms being able to hold it together and to really put in that work that's needed and that may be hard for someone but for someone else it could be a real adventure you know and they may be up for it that's what i'm feeling it's got it's got a good feeling to it you know, oftentimes we get the magician here. Look at that. That's energy. Manifest what you want. You know, bring it to fruition. Now, I feel like that for someone, there's a lot of sorrow, a lot of pain. And, um, you know, we've got so many threes here. Um, I keep seeing threes, 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 threes. There could have been um, third party. But I feel like that that can be, um, we got 12-12 again. For some, you know, there's going to be a lot of sorrow and it's going to be hard to overcome. But I feel like for some, there is, I don't know, I just feel like there's love there. So I don't know if something really happened and it was like a real bad third party or if it was just something that, you know, wasn't horrible. Um but I feel like you need to manifest what you want. You need to make this whatever you want. And if this is not, you know, if this is a relationship that's coming in, you know, you're being told that, you know, whenever these storms start coming in, if you weather them, you can have success. So that's what I've got. Um, that is what I've got. I don't, I don't really know what other cards to pull, but Will of Fortune fell out. Luck on your side. Just got to weather them storms. Got to get through it. You know, not giving up. Being a leader. Leader on the bottom. Um, that's very important. So, that. We looked at all the aspects of that. I like to do that. I like to look at all the different aspects. Because, I mean, not everyone is dealing with the same situation. Not everyone wants... Um, romantic love not everyone you know is dealing with a family issue it's just different for different people so 
Let's see. I'm trying to see if any more cards are calling me to them. That's usually the way this works. Okay. Yeah, and see that, I mean, if you think about, well, I, I was seeing threes there for a while. Um, actually, you should check out, if you haven't checked out uh, Soulful Revolution channel, um, because some of her readings have popped up in front of me, and yeah, it just it just feels like one you should check out. And sometimes I'll put links. I'll put links to other channels. Um, like whenever I'm trying to, like I'll go to try to link my channel and other channels will pop up and I will put some of those down whenever I feel to. So if I feel it, there's a reason someone should try it or check it out. Check out that channel. Ten of Cups. So this feels like someone's going towards love or love is coming towards someone. Now, this could be romantic or this could be um, this could be within a family, within a, a relationship already. But it's got that feeling. So I'm going to get off of here now. It's getting a little late. Um, and want everyone to be happy. And there is the sun card. If you have a yes or no question, the answer would be yes. Um, and thank you all for being here with me. Much light and love. Love you all. Thank you for your help with the um, bad comments that were going on earlier. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And um, love our little soul family. Till next time. Much light and love. Bye.